In this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can get set up and use ExpressVPN. And also in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to connect to the different versions of Netflix. And towards the end of the video, I'm also going to show you how you can do this exact same process on mobile phone devices. Let's get started. Okay guys, so I'm just going to go through quickly on how to download and get set up with ExpressVPN. So I'm over here on the ExpressVPN website and I've actually clicked the link down below in the video description. And this opens me to this custom page where I get an exclusive price for the 12 month plan. So as you can see guys, it's $6.67 per month. However, with the link, it actually gives you three additional months on top of that for free. Um, so the price is usually around $8.50, but in this instance, it takes around $2 off the original price. So this is for the 12 month plan. However, you also do have the option for the one month and the six month plan. However, from my own personal experience, I do find it's a better investment uh, to lock in those cheaper prices for a longer time period. So once you've selected your desired uh, kind of plan, you can scroll down and put in your personal information and go to the checkout process. So once you finish with the checkout process, this is what you'll be greeted with. Um, this is kind of the dashboard of ExpressVPN. And by default, it automatically detects I'm using a MacBook computer. So it's prompting me to download the desktop version for Mac. So if this isn't working for you for whatever reason, you can scroll down a little bit further. And as you can see, guys, we've got various apps for various platforms. And if I scroll down a little bit further, guys, we also have the activation code, which we'll need to copy as we'll have to paste this into the app once we install it onto our device. Okay guys, so once you have the app downloaded and installed, you'll simply have to paste in the activation code and then log in with your username and password. So from there, this is what you'll be greeted with. This is the desktop app of ExpressVPN. And this is by far one of my favorite apps to use. It's incredibly easy to use and navigate. And right here we have the big connect button. So right out of the box, ExpressVPN is completely ready to use. You don't have to adjust any of the settings or anything further. You can just simply start using the app for downloading files, accessing the different versions of Netflix, and also browsing the web anonymously as well. So if I go and click on this button, it will automatically connect me to the fastest location closest to my proximity. Um, so this is really great for fast speeds for just general internet use. However, if you are looking for additional locations, you can click on these three dots. And now we have the option for searching for particular cities or locations. So in this instance, I want to go watch the American version of Netflix. So I'll just simply type in the United States. And if I toggle down here, we also have the option of connecting to individual locations as well. But in this instance, I just want to go and connect to the fastest server in the US. And I can do that by clicking on that location and then pressing connect. And this will just take a couple of moments to connect me. And once this is highlighted in green, this just notifies me that my entire computer, including every single one of my browsers, is now connected. So one of the main benefits of using the desktop app is that you don't have to download third-party apps onto each individual browser, as you can use this one central app as a kind of hub for all of your platforms. So now that we're connected, I can also show you guys a couple of the settings that you can adjust in ExpressVPN if you are looking for the further control. So I can click on the hamburger menu and from here we have various settings we can adjust. So in general, we have the option to launch ExpressVPN on startup, connect to last used location. And then we also have the option of going to the VPN protocol. So there's various VPN um, protocols you can use, uh, UDP, TCP, IKE v2 and LTTP. However, I do find that automatic is best as ExpressVPN is really intelligent at delivering up the best VPN protocol for what you're using it for. So maybe you're downloading torrents and will automatically adjust the VPN protocol for what you're using it for. And if I go to browsers, we also have the option for installing it for those particular browsers. And then we can also go to advanced as well. So I'm just going to leave this as is guys, as I do find out of the box, ExpressVPN is really good just to use as is. So now that we're connected to an American location, I can go to my Netflix account and I'll refresh the browser and this will go and load me onto the American version of Netflix. And it really is that simple guys. Um, it only takes a couple of clicks to kind of navigate between the different Netflix libraries. And just to show you guys an example of this, I'm going to go search for Marvel movies. 
as there actually is still a couple of Marvel titles available on Netflix, even with the introduction of Disney+. Plus. So as you can see, we've got Avengers Infinity War, Ant-Man and the Wasp, uh, Daredevil, and we've also got some other movies um, such as Solo, uh, 2012, and heaps of others as well. So what I'm going to do now is just go play a really small snippet of one of these movies in real time. So I'll just go click on this one. And with my experience with ExpressVPN, it typically does take between 3 and 10 seconds. And as you can see guys, this is now loading with... Okay guys, so I'm going to jump over to my iPhone and show you the process on how to set up for smartphone devices. So as you can see guys, I'm over here on my iPhone device. So I've already gone and downloaded the ExpressVPN app just to speed up the process. Uh, but it's really simple to get started. You simply download it and log in with your username and password. So I'll go open up the iPhone ExpressVPN app. And as you can see guys, it's pretty much identical uh, to the desktop app. You have the big connect button, the ability to change the location, and then also the option for the advanced settings as well. So I'll just quickly walk you guys through this. So the first thing I'll do is go to the settings and I can go to settings again. And as you can see guys, we've pretty much got the exact same as the desktop, the auto connect VPN protocol, and the VPN configuration as well. So I'm going to leave this as is, so I can go back and now I can go and search for a particular location that I would like to connect to. Okay guys, so now I'm going to go change my location so I can watch the different versions of Netflix. So I'll just go click on these three dots and I want to go watch the Friends TV show and this is actually still available on Netflix in the United Kingdom. So I'll go search for the United Kingdom, I'll click on that location and as you can see guys, we're now getting the progress bar and this is pretty much identical to the, to the desktop. And once this is highlighted in green, uh, this just lets me know that my entire iPhone device, including all of my apps and browsers, is now connected to the VPN. And if I also look on the top left hand corner, it also shows me that I'm also connected to a VPN as it has that really small icon there. And even if I exit out of the app, it will also keep showing the icon as well. So now that we've done that, I'll go back to Netflix. And this will go and load me onto the UK based version of Netflix. I'll go to my profile and now I'll be able to search for particular TV shows and movies. So again guys, I want to go watch Friends. So I'll go search for this particular TV show. And as you can see guys, we now have access to the Friends TV show. So I'm just going to go play a really small snippet of this in real time, as I really want to show you guys that ExpressVPN is actually working on iPhone devices, and it's also working uh, for unblocking Netflix. So I'll just go click on this one, press play. And again guys, this will be in real time with no edits whatsoever. And from my typical experience, it usually does take between 3 and 10 seconds, as you can see right there. So as you can see guys, ExpressVPN is incredibly easy to get started with and it's also compatible with multiple different platforms. And again, if you are looking to get started with ExpressVPN, don't forget to check out the massive 49% discount link down below in the video description. So hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. If I've missed anything or maybe you have a particular question, feel free to comment down below as I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. So as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.